Hello. The purpose of this presentation is to go over the schedule changes coming to Catasauqua High School in the 2019-2020 school year. First, we're going to ask, why does Catasauqua need to change the schedule? The current schedule was created in 2013 when Catasauqua High School had 40 plus teachers. Since 2013, staff has decreased, which has caused programs and electives to disappear. Some of the other challenges we are experiencing is the differentiation of level courses. Students have difficulty scheduling a variety of college prep, honors, or applied courses. Another challenge with the current schedule is disproportionate class sizes. Programs like our Diversified Career Occupations and Lehigh Career and Technical Institute Partnership and a limited amount of electives have created inconsistent class sizes within the school. Another issue with the current schedule is the amount of study hall time within the day. The average Catasauqua High School student had 1.7 study halls in the first semester of the 1819 school year, and that equals about 1 hour and 15 minutes. Another challenge that we are working around is the humanities courses. For two periods a day, Four Catasauqua High School teachers teach courses to freshmen only. These happen to be the teachers who can offer the most new electives for all students. The average Catasauqua High School student has nine class transitions per day. At three minutes per transition, that's 27 minutes per day. Under the new proposed block schedule, students would have more time between classes and limit their transitions to just 12 minutes per day. To address the challenges facing our students under the current system, Catasauqua High School created a scheduling committee that met early in the school year. The purpose of this committee was to discuss the reasons we needed to change the schedule. We met and got an understanding of what block scheduling, flex scheduling, looks like. Discussion points were taken back to teachers from our initial meeting and other staff members, and we gathered feedback from everybody. We then looked at schedules from other schools in the Lehigh Valley, in Pennsylvania, and even other states. We've had ongoing meetings since then to try to design the best schedule possible for our students to try to ensure that it meets the needs of many students. For the 2019-2020 school year, Catasauqua High School will move to a 4x4 block schedule with a 40-minute rough rider period in between second and third blocks. With the new matrix, students will have more options to take the level of course they want to take. That is, a student will be more likely to get the English CP class they want, along with a biology applied class that they would like at the same time. Because we will be cutting the current humanities course for freshmen, we will be able to replace it with more attractive electives that all students will have the opportunity to take. As a result, we have been able to create 18 new electives for students. There will also be an increase in student activities. With a built-in Rough Rider period, students can participate in student organizations for 80 minutes within a month instead of just 15 minutes within a month during the school day. Because we move to block scheduling, student who fails a course will actually be able to retake it up to one time without impacting their graduation year. This will also provide faster feedback for students because teachers will have less students per semester and will be able to provide feedback faster. What does block scheduling mean for the students? Students would take four classes per semester, eight total credits per school year. Graduation will require more credits for incoming freshmen. This does mean, as stated earlier, feedback or grades will be returned to students faster. With opportunities available for students, more remediation within specific content areas is built into the Rough Rider period. Transition courses for special education students can be provided on a block schedule. Over time, there will be an increase of advanced placement courses as a result of block scheduling. We will also see involvement in student organizations as more time will be built into the school day than ever before. 
Block scheduling will also have a positive impact for teachers. As we said many times, student feedback will be delivered quicker. Teachers will actually have more planning time for collaboration. We will see fresh lesson plans because we have to change our teaching practices for block scheduling. Teachers will have better opportunities to build relationships with students because teachers will not have 100 students a day. Over time, teachers can build an elective they wish to offer within their content area. As far as the day-to-day -day operations go, this is what the bell schedule would look like for students at Catasauqua High School beginning in 2019-2020 school year. You can see it is broken up into first block, second block, the 40-minute rough rider period, third block, which would include a lunch, and fourth block, which would, which would be the end of the day. At this time, we will take a look at some sample student schedules for next year. This schedule that you're looking at is for a sophomore student. On the left-hand side, we have the breakdown of what this student's day would be like under a traditional schedule versus a block schedule. On the right-hand side, you could see the student's schedule for the first semester on top and the second semester on the bottom. If I take a look at the student's first semester, they will be taking four courses, Business of Art, Algebra 2 CP, English 10 CP, and Spanish 2. You will notice when looking at the Rough Rider period, you will see these classes built in throughout the week. This will allow for extra flexible time for a student to go to their teacher and learn some extra things. On Wednesdays will be a designated activity day where students will be allowed to participate in two organizations every other week. If you take a look at the second semester schedule, the student is taking concert band, world culture CP, team sports, and honors biology. It is important to note that during the Rough Rider period, students returning to a teacher teaching a course during that time will have to report to an alternative location for a modified study hall. We will be discussing the Rough Rider period more in the future. The next schedule we're going to take a look at is a sample schedule for a senior. On the left hand side again is the breakdown of the year for a traditional year versus a year on the block. The first semester is on the top right hand side and the second semester is on the bottom right hand side. As you can see in the first semester this student will actually be taking five courses environmental science, digital music, journalism during the Rough Rider period, introduction to social sciences, and honors calculus. During the second semester, they will only be taking four courses, personal fitness, physics one, honors, journalism, and English 12 CP. This student is also involved in two student organizations and will be doing them on Wednesdays during the Rough Rider period throughout the year. Please note that seniors who have met their graduation requirements, their credit requirements for graduation, will be eligible for a fourth block senior waiver as other seniors have in years past. The final sample schedule student we're going to see is for a student who is a sophomore and happens to attend LCTI. You can see the breakdown of the block versus traditional schedule on the left hand side. On the upper right it is the student's first semester schedule and on the bottom right it is the second semester schedule. As you can see, this student will only be taking four credits through Catasauqua High School. But what is unique about this is the student will be able to choose different levels of courses he or she wishes to take. So in the first semester, this student will be taking Biology College Prep and Applied World History. Then the student will board the bus and go to LCTI. During the second semester, the student can take Applied English 10 and Geometry College Prep. These are options that probably would not have been available under the traditional schedule at Catasauqua. Throughout this presentation, you have heard many things about the Rough Rider period. The Rough Rider period is essentially an extension of a current course a student is taking. The Rough Rider period will be flexible in nature. The Rough Rider period cannot be used to introduce new materials. 
as several students in many programs, such as the Lehigh Carbon Technical Institute, will not be available during that extended block time. The rough rider period is also a time for special education teachers to pull students that they need to work with. This will replace our study support program that is very successful right now. The rough rider period is a good time for students to make up tests, quizzes. It's a good time for students to get remediation if they need it. And it is a good opportunity for our teachers for continuing to emphasize a concept. Four courses will be offered during the Rough Rider time. Chorus, Journalism, TV Production, and Child Development 3. Throughout the school year, an occasional advisory period will happen during the Rough Rider time. This will provide students opportunity to work on specific college and career ready content through their years at Catasauqua High School. It is possible for some students to take a course during the Rough Rider period to increase their credit total to nine instead of taking eight credits throughout the year. So at this point we ask ourselves, is the new block schedule utopia for Catasauqua High School? And the answer to that is unfortunately no, there's still potential for issues. In fact, no high school across the United States has a perfect schedule to fit all the students' desires. If that potential schedule existed, everybody would be using it. Students can still run into scheduling issues under the new block schedule. For an example, there is a potential issue with calendar year. A student who is not paying attention to his or her schedule could go a calendar year without math or a world language should they want that path. That would pose a problem for students trying to remember the math they had from the year before. Another potential issue is the sequence of courses. Course sequencing will have to constantly be evaluated to make sure students are being offered courses within the proper time frame before they graduate. Some more potential issues is class size. The average class size will increase by two to three students. Teacher practices. Many Catasauqua High School teachers have taught on a traditional schedule for a long time and will be adjusting to a newer style of lessons. And the final potential issue that we have is a single course loses instructional time. A course will lose 10 and a half hours of instructional time. This means our teachers will have to evaluate essential curriculum before teaching a course. Even with these potential issues, the scheduling committee took time to develop a potential problem analysis tool. Using this tool, we are able to navigate our way through the problems that were mentioned earlier and have plans in place to make sure students are successful and that we're constantly evaluating our schedule to see that it's meeting the needs of our students. The most exciting part about the new block schedule is that moving to this format will allow Catasauqua High School to offer 18 new electives next school year. At this time, I would encourage you to pause the video and you can take a look at the 18 courses now available. While we're excited that CHS has, is offering 18 new courses, we are also excited to say that five courses are being expanded. Five courses are going from a half a credit to a full credit. This slide contains a, a timeline that shows Catasauqua High School will be constantly evaluating the schedule as we move forward. We will, be always, we will always be evaluating the rough rider period as well as electives we can offer to meet our student needs. This concludes the presentation. We hope you found this presentation helpful and that, it was, and that you're able to better understand the changes coming to Catasauqua High School schedule for next year. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Mr. Schnug at the phone number or email below. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation.